Now, if you're struggling to get that squat move in your swing like you're seeing a lot of the top pros doing, there's two things that I see almost every single player that struggles with this do exactly the same. Let me go ahead and give you number one here. So the first one is their weight shift or your weight shift if you're struggling with this is going to the right way too late. A lot of times I'll see players start with their weight maybe a little bit on the left side. They'll get to the top of the swing, the weight's still going to the right and they'll wait to the down swing to begin to shift their weight back to the left. Not only will that lead to inconsistent shots, especially a lot of heavy and thin shots, mostly chunks behind the ball, but it'll also lead to almost making it impossible to get that squat move. What we wanna do here is we wanna feel like you start with your weight going to the right almost before the club even comes back. So if I kind of exaggerate this, my weight is moving to my right foot before I even start my backswing. Once I start that weight moving to the right, then my backswing starts. I hardly see anybody that gets their weight too far to the right unless they slide their hip too far to the right also. As long as I keep this hip in, I can almost feel like I get as much load into my right side as I possibly can. I don't wanna let this hip slide like that, but as long as I keep this hip in and I kinda of get it turning this way in the backswing, I want you to load as much as you can into the right very early. Now, extremely early in the backswing, then I'm gonna start going back to the left. So as soon as my hands get about waist high right here, I'm actually starting my swing to the left. That's getting all my momentum moving to the left as my back swing is still going back. I'm getting to the left, then I'm swinging down. So in a nutshell, almost everybody starts their weight shift way too late. Feel like your weight shift to the right starts before you even take the club back. And then almost everybody starts their weight shift to the left way too late. Feel like you start shifting to the, to the left when your hands are about waist high here. And if you do this correctly, you'll see that I'm getting a shift to the right, left, and then I'm swinging down. Now what that allows me to do is to get everything moving through the ball and on my left side as I'm hitting that golf ball. That allows me to release the club in front, get this great shaft lean, and really get through the ball very nicely. So you'll notice here, if you pay attention to how my, my weight moves, it goes right early and it goes left very early also. All right, hit that one really nice and solid. Now, that's the first piece. If you don't get that weight shift right, if you're late to the right and then late back to the left, it doesn't really matter what you do. Your weight's not gonna be moving to the left. And if you try to add that squat in there, you're gonna feel like you're stuck on your right side, you're squatting, and you can just never get to the golf ball. So last thing I wanna be, I wanna do is be stuck on my right side where I'm gonna tend to ground out behind the ball even more. And then I'm gonna squat which is gonna lower me down and I'm gonna ground out even farther behind the golf ball. So if you're stuck on your right side, like I said, that squat is never gonna work. Now let me go ahead and show you what's gonna work. Now that we got our weight shifting to the left a little bit better through contact, we can add that squat move in there. The same thing as the weight shift. Everybody I see that's struggling with this, if you're struggling with this, your weight is getting left way too late and you're squatting way too late also. Same as the weight shift, same timing. I wanna feel like as soon as my hands get to here, I'm actually beginning that squat move. When I do that squat, I'm not only letting my, my butt drop down here, I feel like I'm almost sitting in a chair slightly, I'm letting my knees separate a little bit too. That allows me to use the lower body. If you feel like you're just all arms, then you're not getting the, the legs loaded up here. And when I get more bend, then I can fire those and use more body. I almost want to feel like there's talons sticking out of the bottom of my golf shoes, grabbing the ground as I'm doing this. While I'm doing this, I'm shifting to the left. So my hips drop down, my legs, my knees bend and separate, and I shift to the left. That's all one move. That's how you get your weight to your left side. And again, that's starting to happen while you're still in your backswing. Let me do this without a club, and I'll just put my arm across my shoulders. I'll go really slow here a couple times. Early shift to the right. As my hands get here, now I'm starting that shift to the left and the squat at the same time. And then from there, I'm just gonna extend up, nice and tall to the finish. That's gonna allow my legs to use the ground. And that's gonna allow my hips to face the target when I finish. Nice high chest all the way around here like that. Let me do that again. Early shift to the right as I get to about here, squatting and going left at the same time. And then that good full finish. Let me do it one more time without a club just like that. If I add a club to that, 
you can almost imagine that if I just grab this club with two fingers, it's that squat move and then me using my legs is what allows the club to kind of whip through contact and get a lot of speed as I'm doing that. Now let's go ahead and try one full speed. And the big thing here is squat earlier. Everybody I see is squatting way too late. You wanna squat while you're still making that backswing. Let's give it a whirl. All right, that one's nice and straight. Straight as a switch string there. And there's one more piece to this to make this happen. We just talked about all lower body stuff. You got your weight shift going left earlier. You got your squat happening earlier. That way you can really load into the ground. But even if I do that right, I don't wanna blow all that by having this club coming in steep in the downswing and having the face wide open. I can have this fantastic lower body, this pro caliber lower body action. And if I start down steep with the face open, I'm gonna to tend to block it out to the right, not get any compression on it. I feel like I really don't hit the ball all that solid. What I wanna do is I wanna feel like I square this face up very, very early when I'm doing this. So when I use this squat move, at the same time, I'm shallowing out that club and I'm beginning to square this face up early. And that's what a lot of the pros are doing to really compress the golf ball. There's a specific way that you wanna move these wrists and hands to make that happen. And I have a great drill that's gonna teach that to you. It's called the tennis racket drill. In that drill, I'm gonna walk you through exactly step-by-step step what you need to do to get that move down if you've been struggling to shallow and square the face up. If you add that to what we talked about here today, that's the perfect one-two punch. I'll play a preview of that video here in just one second. All you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on your screen. Don't worry if you don't see one of those cards on your screen somewhere. Go down to the description below and click the link there and you'll be able to get instant access to that tennis racket drill where I'm gonna finally unlock how to use these wrists properly, shallow out this club, and man, that's gonna really, really feel good when you pair that up with the lower body stuff we did here today. Let's go and get started. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, I'm going to be